Welcome back to Kim's Art Alchemy. Today, I am going to try a Nyanika style 3D bloom. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Nyanika, I think it's Nyanika Art. I will flash her channel up um, above and, and it'll be linked in the description below as well. Has done some really cool um, 3D blooms. And I am going to attempt to do one like hers, similar to hers, I should say. So I have mixed up my one-to-one -one resin. It's just regular Let's Resin. Um, I waited until it got to, well, it actually got to 96 degrees. And um, so I'm just decanting about 10, 12 grams right now. And which one needs, looks like it needs a little more. Maybe I'll do this one here. So what I'm gonna do is what's in here, I'm going to put down there. And then the rest of these are gonna get mixed up for, for doing the actual blooming. So let's get this in here. Cause I'm gonna have to fish out all those little squatters, the bubble squatters from all those nooks and crannies. Um, I mixed up about three ounces of resin total. And uh, yeah, I think we should be just fine. All right, we're back. So here, I'm gonna put one drop of Julie's Bloom Paste in there, because it's only really a, just over um, 10 grams, I'm pretty sure. Get that out of the way. We'll get to mixing this. See how it looks. Maybe I can just put like a little itty bitty bit <laughs> on there. it in there. I think I'm going to try not to pipe. Use the piping bag. I'll just use my that. With the Perlex, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it around the sides. Okay, that's, and this is Perlex. Whoa, that's a lot. I'm just going to maybe use that much. Perlex, what is this? Super copper. And boy, is it ever. Make sure it's really well mixed up and getting to the edges of these cups. My resin starting to feel warm. Okay, so that's good. So again, that's Perlex Super Copper. And last but not least, I'm using Ranger in Crimson. These are alcohol inks. And let me see. Five? I have no idea. A, I don't know, a brownie color. Oh, the only other color alcohol ink is this flamingo. I 
it's a pretty light color. I don't think it's gonna make too much difference. But, what the heck. Okay, let me give this another stir. All right, here we go. Let me think, how am I gonna do this now? So I'm gonna do... that one. All right, next up, I probably should have done the copper first because I want the copper to be around the outside. That's enough. And now my white. Am I gonna overflow my mold? I don't know. No, I'm not. All right, this is not like Nyanika's at all. <laughs> Hers are much more uh, soft and pretty and stuff and ethereal this is already looking chunky okay now let's make this somehow into a flowerish thing Also gonna do like a Julie swirl. See you on the flip side. We're back, and this was one that I was trying for the rose. I don't think I've got a rose with this at all, but I was trying for um, a technique that Nyanika uses, and at the end, I kind of did the uh, 3D bloom swirl like Julie Cutts has done. So, let's see what I got. I was really thinking that I probably put way too much mica powder in. Um, so it has probably gone down. It The spoon should really have been uh, pretty much transparent <clears throat> or mostly transparent. So I can see that there's a few areas where it hasn't quite filled in. But let's check out the overall result. <laughs> well, now, isn't that interesting? Okay. So this edge here does frame it quite well. 
Um, it's a little too bad that those petals didn't go all the way through um, to the edge. And it didn't blob quite as much as I thought it was going to. And it's interesting because I did have some of this um, side bit that got swirled in, but it's not in there. So that is very pretty. I will know um, for next time, there were definitely areas where I had thicker parts on the white. So lots of little points to learn from this. It is very pretty. It's kind of rose-like. Um, and I think I know what I'm gonna do for the next time. Shoo, stay tuned. Thank you as always for being here. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.